This is a bronze bell that was created in 1884. It was made using the lost wax process, and it's about 16 inches high. This object is shaped like a bell, but what's unique about it is that it, it has these two lion-like creatures, these hybrid creatures, flanking the ring that's at the top of the bell, that's used to hang the bell. Um, and these creatures are known as chinthe. They are um, animals that are associated with Buddhism. Sometimes it's pointed out that the Buddha has been called the lion of the Shakya clan, or a lion among men. And his sermons have also been described as the lion's roar. So I think in this particular case, it's very fitting that um, when the bell is struck, um, it is a way of also helping to kind of propound his teaching and his philosophy. The surface is decorated with a number of striated lines. Also on the shoulder, we can see a double row of lotus petals. The lotus petals, of course, are symbolic. And in Buddhism, the lotus is a symbol of someone in this life who can transcend the muck of this life and make it to enlightenment. One of the features that's particular to this bell and that actually helps to identify the object as a piece from Myanmar for us is that inscription. There are three lines of inscription that you can see on the bell. This inscription in the Myanmar language tells us that it was donated by a mother and daughter and it tells us that they donated it with detached minds, full intentions, and a desire for all their beloved family and friends to pay homage to the future Buddha and to escape the cycle of life and then make it to nirvana. Buddhist temple bells are found throughout the Buddhist world, so the fact that this is a bell isn't unique to Myanmar, but we know that in Myanmar, Often after these bells were cast, um, they were cause or are cause for village-wide celebration. And bells like this one do not have a clapper. And we know when they were sounded with a wooden striker at the conclusion of someone's personal devotions, everybody who could hear the sound of that bell being struck um, is allowed to or is invited to share in the merit um, that uh, that person who strikes the bell has been trying to build by striking the bell. And um, we also know that those who are nearby will answer in kind to the bell, well done, or a phrase that means well done. Hopefully by looking at this object, we better understand how important merit is in the daily lives of Theravada Buddhists in Myanmar. And we also understand how this idea of merit, um, artistic creativity, uh, in terms of the form of the bell and the, the um, beautiful images of the, the lion-like figures, um, are, and craftsmanship are all combined together in the form of one object and all kind of function as one uh, in, in this very um, profound Buddhist culture.